is the annual Title I meeting for Appling County Primary School. We welcome you to this presentation. The posting of this presentation will be Friday, September the 18th, 2020. The posting will be available at any time on the school website and Appling County Primary School Facebook page. Appling County Primary School, Primary Pirates. Welcome parents and community members. We are happy to welcome you to Appling County Primary School's annual Title I meeting. Under normal circumstances, this meeting would have been held in person at school. However, the coronavirus pandemic has forced us to be creative and reach out to parents virtually via YouTube. For documentation purposes, this meeting and PowerPoint has been recorded and shared with all of our parents via Infinite Campus. Additionally, a link of this meeting will be posted on our school website. In an effort to gather parent feedback, we have included a link to a brief parent survey posted at the end of this PowerPoint. This link will also be posted on the school website. If you need a Spanish translation of this presentation, please feel free to call the Applin County Primary School office at 367-8642. Appling County Primary School welcomes parents and families. Our principal, Ms. Shelley Ropey. Our assistant principal, Ms. Melody Lewis. Our school and family parent engagement coordinator, Ms. Melody Lewis. And our faculty and staff welcome you. We thank you for being a part of this presentation and a part of our school family. We have a meeting agenda and we also have a sign-in for you using the chat box. Please note that we welcome questions and input throughout the presentation. We want to make sure you leave this meeting informed about the Title I program as well as the opportunities the school provides to get involved. This afternoon we will be reviewing and discussing our school's Title I program. We will cover the following items that are important to you as, a, as parents. Number one, what is a Title I school? Number two, how does our school spend Title I money? How is Title I parent and family engagement money spent? How does our school participate in the Title I program? What are the school's Title I school-wide requirements? Appling County Primary School, school-wide program past and present. What are our school-wide goals? What programs, supports are in place to help my child? What curriculum does our school use? What test will my child be taking? How do these tests measure my child's progress? What proficiency levels is my child expected to meet? How can I act access previous test performance, grades, and attendance using statewide longitudinal data system, SLDS. What opportunities does the school provide for family engagement? What is the district's parent and family engagement policy? What is the school's parent and family engagement policy? What is a school parent compact? Number nine, what are the parent notifications? List family engagement opportunities offered for school or home. List volunteer opportunities. List parent decision-making opportunities, meetings, councils. Number 10, what opportunities does the school provide for family engagement? Number 11, how responsive will the school be to my questions when staff is contacted? And number 12, closing and evaluations. So to answer these questions, what is a Title I school? Well, Title I Part A is a federally funded program under the Every Student Succeeds Act, ESSA, E-S-S-A. 
The purpose of Title I under the ESSA is to ensure that all children have a fair, equal, and significant opportunity to obtain a high quality education and reach at a minimum proficiency on challenging state academic achievement standards and state academic assessments. While the ESSA has many requirements, there is a strong focus throughout the law on parent and family engagement notification and involvement, particularly as it relates to ensuring that high quality academic assessments, accountability systems, teacher preparation and training, curriculum and instructional materials are aligned with challenging state academic standards so that students, teachers, parents, and administrators can measure progress against common expectations for student academic achievement. Affording parents substantial and meaningful opportunities to participate in the education of their children. Title I funding. Appling County Primary School is a Title I school. Our funding comes from the most recent census and is reviewed annually. Funding is based on the poverty level, level of county residents. The results of the Comprehensive Needs Assessment CNA in the school-wide plan drives our school budget. Our budget is based on the needs of our school as identified by the Comprehensive Needs Assessment. our school spend Title I money? Technology is one way. By hardware, digital learning platforms, devices, software licenses, apps, our paraprofessionals for flexible groups and student support, instructional support, and instructional extended school. Title I Family and Parent Engagement Funding. Each local educational agency shall reserve at least 1% of Title I funds to assist schools to carry out parent and family engagement unless the agency's allocation for the fiscal year for the determination is $5,000 or less. Parents and family members of children receiving Title I services shall be involved in the decisions regarding how funds reserved for Title I parent and family engagement are allotted for parental involvement activities. These funds shall be used to carry out activities and strategies consistent with the local education agency's parent and family engagement policy, including not less than that one of the following. Support schools and nonprofit organizations in providing professional development for local educational agency and school personnel regarding parent and family engagement strategies, which may be provided jointly to teachers, principals, other school leaders, specialized instructional support personnel, paraprofessionals, early childhood educators, and parents and family members. Supporting programs that reach parents and family members at home, in the community, and at school. Disseminating information on best practices focused on parent and family engagement, especially best practices for increasing the engagement of economically disadvantaged parents and family members, collaborating or providing sub-grants to schools to enable such schools to collaborate with community-based or other organizations or employers with a re record of success in improving and increasing parent and family engagement and engaging in any other activities and strategies that the local educational agency determines are appropriate and consistent with such agency's parents and family engagement policy.
Applin County Primary School is a Title I school. This is schools with 40% or more of its students from low-income families develop a school-wide program to serve all students. Applin County Primary participates in school-wide Title I. What are our school's Title I requirements? Several things. Provide strategies to increase parental involvement. Plan for assisting transition from second grade to third grade, from fifth grade to sixth grade, and from eighth grade to ninth grade. Measures to include um, teachers and decisions regarding the use of academic assessments. Using timely effective assistance for students who are having difficulty meeting the proficient or advanced level of academic standards. And federal, state, and local programs are integrated in to serve the students appropriately. What are our school's Title I requirements? Comprehensive Needs Assessment, CNA. Research evidence-based reform strategies. Instruction by highly effective teachers and paraprofessionals high quality and ongoing professional development for teachers, principals, paraprofessionals, and other appropriate stakeholders. Strategies to attract high quality, high, highly effective teachers to high need schools. Applin County Primary School-wide program, past and present. What are our school-wide goals? Second grade students will show a 3% increase from fall to spring on the STAR 360 assessments for reading and math. First grade students will show a 3% increase from fall to spring on the STAR 360 assessments for reading, math, and early literacy. Kindergarten students will show a 3% increase from fall to spring on the STAR 360 assessments for early literacy. What programs and supports are in place to help my child? We have EIP, which is Early Intervention Program, RTI, Response to Intervention, ESOL, English to Speakers of Other Languages, Migrant, and Instructional Extended Day. Due to COVID-19, the state has suspended grade reports for all schools. What curriculum is used at Applin County Primary School? We have the Georgia Standards of Excellence. We have Bookworms, Go Math, and SRA Direct Instruction. And you can see um, on the Georgia Standards of Excellence, we have a um, link that you can go to and explore the Georgia standards. What tests will my child be taking? Well, we have several tests. The Access or Alternate, Access ELL, the G Kids for Kindergarten, STAR 360 Reading and Math, first and second grade, STAR 360 Early Literacy for Kindergarten and first grade, How do these tests measure my child's progress? They access, um, the access test measures English language proficiency growth from year to year. The G Kids measures kindergarten student growth mastering Georgia kindergarten standards. The STAR 360 reading measures student Lexile growth and GSE mastery. The STAR 360 math measures student mastery of GSE math standards. And the STAR 360 Early Literacy measures reading readiness for kindergarten and first grade students. What proficiency level is my child expected to meet? In reading, first grade Lexile at or above 360. In second grade, Lexile at or above 535. And math grade level proficiency. How can I access previous test performance, standards, and attendance about my child using SLDS through the school's parent portal. Accessing parent portal 
is addressed in slide 18. Student achievement. How will parents receive student achievement information? Several ways. Progress reports, report cards, class dojo, parent portal, um, by setting up an account and information for the Infinite Campus app, which is on the next slide. Emails, phone calls, and conferences are the many ways that parents will receive student achievement information. So how to create a parent portal account? These instructions are available from the Appling County Primary School front office. If you need translation in Spanish, please call the school at 367-8642. Again, 367-8642. These instructions um, for the Infinite Campus mobile app are available from the Appling County Primary School front office. If you need a translation in Spanish, please call the school at 367-8642. Um, you see the App Store, Parents Choose Campus Parent, Students Choose Campus Student, download the Infinite Campus Mobile Portal app, the district name is Appling, select a state, Georgia, click on search, click on Appling County, enter username, enter password, and click on login. So the CCRPI performance indicators, accountability measure that applies to all schools, not just Title I schools. The CCRPI is the College and Career Readiness Performance Index. It is an accountability index that applies to all schools in these areas. Um, content mastery, achievement in ELA, math, science, and social studies on the Georgia milestones, EOG assessments, end of grade assessments. Um, readiness, student literacy, student attendance, and beyond the core. Progress, growth in ELA and math. Progress towards English language proficiency for EL students. School climate, the star rating is out of five stars. Closing the gaps, meeting achievement improvement targets for subgroups of students, and financial efficiency, star rating out of five stars. Our parent and family engagement, Title I, requires schools to develop strategies which build the capacity of parents to be involved in the education of their children. Parent and family engagement also, parents and legal guardians have the right to participate in the education of their children. Studies have shown that children do better in school when their parents or guardians are actively engaged in their child's learning. Teachers, administrators, and our family and parent engagement coordinator are available to help. It is important for parents to provide their input and evaluate the school and district level parent-family engagement plans. And you see a list of parent resources from the parent and family engagement. Um, what is the district's Parents and Family Engagement Plan. It's a plan that describes how Appling County School System will provide opportunities to improve engagement to support students' learning. There is an English and Spanish version. What is the school's Parent and Family Engagement Plan? A plan that describes how Appling County Primary School will provide opportunities to improve parent engagement to support students' learning. Again, in English and Spanish. And what is a school parent compact? It's an agreement that parents, students, and teachers develop together and that explains how parents and teachers will, will work together to ensure our students reach grade level expectations. There's also a copy of English and Spanish. And family engagement is connecting home and school. It's school parent student compacts, parent resources to use at home, and it's considerations for language, cultural diversity, parent disability, and work schedules. Notifications. Parents right to know, have teacher qualifications, um, the notice to parents of English learners, and out of zone request, intradistrict transfer. These parent notifications explain your right as a parent of a child in Appling County School. And the next three slides will explain each one. No. 
parents' right to know, all schools must provide notification to all parents regarding their right to request teacher and paraprofessional qualifications. This parent's right to know must be shared at the start of the school years. Notice to parents of English language learners. Local educational agencies, LEAs, are required to send notification in a language and format appropriate for the, le for the reader. To, to parents of ELs who have been selected to participate in the LEA's Title III or Title I Supplemental Language Program, this notice also permits the parent to waive participation in the Title Funded Services. Out of zone intradistrict transfer. Beginning in school year 2009 to 2010, the parent of a student enrolled in a public elementary or secondary school in this state may elect to enroll such student in a public school that is located within the school system in which the state in which the student resides, other than the one to which the student has been assigned by the local board of education if such school has classroom space available after its assigned students have been enrolled. The parent shall assume the responsibility and cost of transportation of the student to and from the school. What opportunities does the school provide for parent engagement? Family engagement opportunities, school-wide curriculum nights, small group parent academic workshops, parent-teacher conferences, volunteer opportunities, um, such as muffins with moms and donuts with dads and annual book fairs. And then we also have decision-making opportunities, school council, parent advisory council PAC. How responsive will the school be when I contact them with questions? They will con um, you can contact your te child's teacher or counselor by phone, email, or class JoJo. Um, and also contact the school family and parent engagement coordinator by phone or email. And they will respond back. And this is your school contact, Melody Lewis, assistant principal, family and parent engagement coordinator. Um, you can see my contact information on the screen. District con contact is Ms. Deborah T. Lawrence, Curriculum Instruction Assessment Director and Family and Parent Engagement Coordinator. And again, you see her uh, contact information on the screen. We value your input and feedback. Please go to the school website to complete the annual Title I Meeting Parents Survey. Thank you for completing the parent survey. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to contact us. We appreciate your time and efforts. Thank you so much for being involved and wanting to learn more about our school and what we have to offer here at Appling County Primary School. May you have a blessed day.